going into Skodak Island State Park. weekend yep of camping for yep. our last trip last camping trip of the year probably of the year yeah the houses are pretty clean right yeah the bath houses are real clean to go over the river to get here although we came up the back way well that's the Massachusetts Spur right yes that's Massachusetts Spur coming off the throughway that goes out to Boston it does We've had many fun filled trips in Boston underneath the bridge this is the railroad bridge We are coming up to the registration check registration in. and check-in. Well, we have to get that end up quite a bit. We can do it. Here, hold this. Let me try the front a little bit. The other foot's not down, just so you know. Yeah, but I don't think those are the problem ones, so. We're still way off. <clears throat> that might be the end of the road for us, but we'll try. One more time, one more time. Let me go through here and get it cranked once more. All right. deal with it. Let's try this one down here. Oh, you know what we can do? Put another block underneath it. Mm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. We, we have another could. block. I right? think we have another block. We always carry wood with us, planks. Man, I don't know. 
There's a thin one there. All right. Well, they're not locked together, so. to try the front now. Yeah, it's got to come up a little bit more, but I'm not going to, you know, we're going to put our heads down that way anyway. All right. And the only other thing I could su suggest would be to put the that under the tire. It might help it. Oh, yeah. That requires moving it, everything again, so... No, you might have been right. That that was that would probably do it. That might do it. Pretty darn close. The whole trick was to just to shim up that wheel. Okay. Yeah, we that won't be able to go down. That you may have the same issue with the back one. Oh, I guess not. And just squeeze it and it'll drop down. There you go. And then we'll lock them down. So, look at this. I think that's about as good as we're going to get, huh? Yep, I have packed a front. That's good, that's good. That's good, good, good. Yep. And then we still have to tighten some of these up, but that's okay. They're going to be watching this. Is it all the way up? Yes. People are going to be watching this video and thinking that you do all the work. Maybe you do. Maybe I just never realized it. Come on, mountain woman. You can do it. You can do it. I think you're there. In a few minutes, 20 minutes in, the carpet's out. Let's see where she's at in here. Look it. It's almost inhabitable. Or habitable. I'll have to look that up. Grab you the what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Time to start a fire. I just need a little accelerant on it. That should be enough, huh? This wood wasn't, this um, cardboard wasn't burning. Probably was because it was um, recycled. There you go. 
I think that'll get the fire started. We are so close to being set up. Just all the little detail stuff now. Well, it got organized pretty neatly. Fairly. A lot of booze back there. That must be part of camping though, huh? This is our custom made awning for our pop-up camper. Usually there are uh, usually there are three poles, one in that corner, one in the center, and one over to the right. And then from there, that keeps it rigid. And then there are three poles. There's one here, and there's one here, and then there's one down there, and they come down straight. But it was a hassle to set it up that way all the time. So we just took our um, <clears throat> two of our regular poles. And we bought some... What size is this? One inch maybe? PVC? Yeah, one inch PVC. And um, we put a drilled a hole and put a stop in it. And then, so the regular pipe comes into about here. And then we can adjust it up, and it's quick removal. It's worked out good. And here's our setup. Here's my new camping cooking table by GCI Outdoors. It's got all kinds of shelf space, which is nice. And my um, Blackstone Blacktop Grill. We're charging the battery up because we were running the heater last night. And during the middle of the night, the heater wasn't coming on any longer. So I came out and checked this tank and it was actually empty. So we had a cooking spare tank, which was probably half half to three quarters empty. We put that on and that got us through the night. So then early this morning, we went out to Home Depot and replaced both tanks. So now we're topping off our battery with the Generac IQ2000. I think it's really quiet, a really quiet little generator. And while we're topping off our battery, um, we're charging our phones in the meantime too. So this is one of the loops at Skodak State Park. This is a mix of some electric, but mostly dry camping. And for a pop-up, you really don't need too much. I always like, if I can get electric, I like it, just so I'm always connected to charge equipment, phones, and computers, if in fact there's Wi-Fi, but it's not really necessary. We changed all the bulbs on our camper to LEDs, so um, the, the draw is, is a lot less than what they used to be. This is one of the bathhouses. I think there's one in each um, full loop, but these are extremely clean. Let's go and have a look. In the evening, these lights go out and then they're on a sensor, so when you walk in, they come on. 
Here are the sinks. Like I said, this place is spotless. Two bathroom stalls. And the showers are nice. I guess this is more of a handicap layout or an assisted stall. Where you put your clothes, toiletry bag. There are hooks in here. There's a hook on the back of this door. And then there's a hook here for a towel. And that's the shower stall. It's a push button. I think it seems like you get 45 seconds to a push or so, so you're constantly pushing it, but it's not that big of a deal. The water was warm. And that's the second half of the loop that we're in. I think there are three loops. Across the ways, another loop. That's the bathhouse for that one. I think most of those sites over there are electric. Women's restroom. And then in the rear is where you can clean your pots. I think they have a sink. Yeah, dishwashing sink back here. The distance between the campsites isn't bad. We're gonna cut up some onions for um, French onion soup later tonight. So we'll get it in the pot, get it all ready to go, and then um, we'll we'll uh, we'll cook it up. We're going to an Oct street Oktoberfest today, so we'll have this after that. We're getting the onions ready. So what did you think of this place last night? I liked it. It was very nice. Thank you were you. able to get to the bathrooms oh, right quick? Five seconds. It was a quick walk to the bathhouse in the middle of the night. That's always a convenient thing when you're, mm. I say, glorified tent camping. We got a cool backup camera on there. Yeah. And they're from Florida. It's colder up here than in Florida, isn't it? <laughs> Good morning. I think it's still more early. It is. I think you got a, a cup, like another half hour. Well, this is a, these two are open. Yeah. But, but they're not. They're not electric. Electric sites, so. A lot of tenters back here. Yeah, tenting is too rough for me. Yeah. Pop up camping is too rough for me. Yeah. Uh, I've converted you. Well, not really. <laughs> There was a hotel right in the middle of this place. You mean a buggy hotel? Well. There's this one size up from ours. We never had that. That falling down thing. That, oh, the... That, um, the... Gasket? Yeah, the gasket. 
I always fell down on Cindy and Timmy. Yeah, but other people, is it, it did too. I saw that gasket fall. That's roughing it. That's freaking. Now, was that here before? Oh, that Coleman was here before. Yeah. I want to go see Puppy. Last day of camping. Making some sausage on the grill and eggs. It's still pretty quiet. The tenters are up. I really like this stand. It really works out pretty good. Morning. Oh, you're taking all the sheets off and things. Mm -hmm. I'll fold up this table and get it ready to come in. Okay. But. I think we're all ready, huh? Yeah. 